Buy to Cal service is a piece of consultancy that, that we provide to customers that really aim to provide due diligence ahead of either contract renewals or new investments that are going to be made or even mergers and acquisitions. So the core aim of the service is to provide customers with confidence that what they're buying both meets their needs now um, and is also future-proofed. ABP is a divisional based business. Our divisions um, in pet food and food manufacturing and uh, circular economy um, energy recycling are based quite diversely across Europe. And what we're looking to do is to make sure we have one communication platform. And that's why we were in discussion with Bytes about uh, how we can purchase Office 365 in the best way. We can't go to multiple suppliers to buy Office 365 because obviously it's only coming from Microsoft. So what we have to do is to try to benchmark as best we can what we're buying, how we're buying it in terms of how we're bundling up the services to get best value, and then making sure that we're buying that against a really robust architecture. That's really what the commercial advisory service does. The CAS service supported our change by driving on architecture, efficient procurement, and making sure that we're buying the right things. Typically, the, the service is made up of three key phases. The first phase of that is what we call a, a technology strategy definition, questioning them for a series of short workshops around current usage and their future roadmap for specific technologies. The second phase, our team conduct a piece of analysis where we'll look at cost modeling, review all the license types available, review the contracts which are available to the customer, and effectively overlay the roadmap that we've brought together within the first phase. And then what we'll look to do is come up with the most pertinent options before we present those back to the customer in the third phase. We've gone through quite a bit of change here and going through that simplification, I think the CAS service really adds value. It's given me a very credible conversation with Microsoft. I would have felt like I was the weak player in that conversation without the CAS service behind me giving me that certainty. That's been really vital to me personally. From an organisational point of view, it's allowed us to prepare for the future, but also to deal with the now and quite a big change in our communication and collaboration infrastructure. Um, so it's built the case, built the foundation for us to, to move forward, but taking that future into account. As we grow and as we use more Microsoft services, we're starting from a position of strength, a position of certainty, and we've had a good negotiation with Microsoft to get to good pricing. Um, while also giving Microsoft the potential for a lot of growth within ABP as a business. Firstly, any user with different types of end user needs should be looking at the service to make sure that they understand the differences between license arrangements and what technologies will be made available to customers so that they can begin to embark on understanding some of that profiling a little bit further. Also for organisations who are about to, as, as with ABP, look at either refreshing or upgrading technology to make sure that from a contractual point of view, they are purchasing only what they need and when they need to. And finally, I guess really for any organisation that needs to demonstrate back to the business that it's done its due diligence with regards to the contract that it's about to sign on. That is also where other organisations have said that they've used the, the service to good effect. In very simple terms, it gives certainty, it removes complexity, and it sets out the picture for the future for your organisation. <laughs>